Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel InstrumentationTools.com. Today, in the series of real-time PLC and HMI projects, we have came with another interesting and unique example that is automatic yogurt packing machine. So, let us see how this automatic machine works. So, first of all, we will see the complete operation of this machine in actual speed. Okay, then we will see in slow motion. You can see from the empty cup. To the final packaging, complete machine is working fully automatically. And in this machine, there will be servo drives. This is pneumatic cylinders in each station. So for that, there will be read switch for its feedback and controlled valve for this filling. So everything we are going to see in this video. Right now, you have to observe how this machine works, and you can see here there is a rotating table. Generally, the production lines are horizontal conveyor type because of space saving. And you can see the complete machine is controlled from here, where you can see motor speed, sealing time, temperature. So, if someone asks you to create a machine like this or write a code for machine like this, so it is very necessary to understand each and every operation of the machinery, so that it is clear to you what will be your first code, then what will be yours. Another code. So, if you understand any machinery from my point of view, that is, I am showing in my videos, then you will be easily able to create your own logic for that machine. So, let us start and understand each step. That is how this automatic machine works. So, the first step, that is, table rotates. So, you can see there are the five stations. This is the first station, second station. Third station, fourth, and here the five stations. So five operations are happening over the one cup of yogurt. Okay, but all the steps are happening simultaneously, and all the steps occur after the table rotates. This is the circular table. After it rotates, all the operation starts. Okay, you see the table rotated now. All the operations will start simultaneously. So this is the first step. So it is important that every time this table should come at this particular position only. Means it should travel a particular degrees only. So obviously either there will be stepper drive or servo drive, so that every time it rotates exactly the same degrees. Now let us move to the second step. So second step is to place empty cup in the production line. Okay. So you see, this is our first station, and this is something called as auto loader. Auto loader means once the operator fills this all empty cups, production line will automatically load one by one into production line. This part is called auto loader part, where Empty cups are loaded automatically into production line. So how this works? Once you can see here are the pneumatic cylinder, and for its feedback there will be read switches in it, and these are the air lines. So for this air lines there will be solenoid valves. For example, if this line solenoid valve is energized, so air will flow from here, and cylinder will move. Advances, okay? Cylinder advances, and it will place the Empty cup in the production line, and after a particular time delay, this solenoid valve will energize, so the air will flow from here, and cylinder will retract back. Okay, so you can see from here. Now it energized, so it advanced. Okay, and place the cup again. Table rotate. It will advance. You can see table rotated again. It advances and place the cup. Again, retract back. Okay, so in this way, this auto loader works. So this is the first station in the five-step process. Now, after placing the cup, each time you have to remember that table will rotate. So our empty cup will go to our next station, that is the filling yogurt. So you can see, uh, this is one pipe from where the yogurt is filled into the cup, and there will be motor continuously on. And there will be solenoid valve. So based on the 
on off of solenoid valve this cup will be filled so you can see from here after the table rotates empty cup come here and the solenoid valve started filling okay again solenoid valve off table rotated again valve on so yogurt is coming so in this way uh, yogurt is filled into the empty cups now again the table will rotate and this cup with yogurt come to this station okay so now we will see what is happening in the next step so the next step is putting the packing cover observe over the this part of the machine you can see this is by suction taking one cover paper and this cylinder is up down and this arm is also rotated observe this arm this arm rotated cylinder goes up now by suction it picks one cover it came down arm rotated and the placed this cover on the yogurt cup okay now we will see the next step that is heating the packing cover you can see in this step that is in the fourth step we have placed a plastic cover over this yogurt cup now we will heat this so that it seals okay so the fifth step is heating the packing cover you can see this particular portion that this is the next station so you can see there will be particular die which only heats the circular of this cup okay so this you can see it is moving up down as the table rotates it will come down and seals the yogurt pack okay now the final step to take out the cup from the production line so now you can see this assembly okay first this cylinder moves upward then this pneumatic cylinder pushes this cup to this production line okay so you can see came gone down cylinder up this cylinder pushes cylinder up this cylinder pushes so this way the cups are taken out from the production line now we will see how this machine is controlled from control panel so you can see this is the control panel where there is start stop button power indicator you can see this is the new kind of indicator available in the market where it also shows the voltage you can see over here this is the power on off switch and emergency switch and more functions can be controlled through this vicon hmi and this project is also made using vicon hmi and plcs so here you can see this is the heating temperature this is the sealing time for how much duration you want to apply heating there is motor speed motor acceleration and deacceleration time and the more you can see from here daily productions etc so friends this was our video of automatic yogurt packing machine i hope you find it helpful and you learn something new in this video if you want to see more content like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with another interesting example